Hello everyone, I hope that you can hear me. This is Paulette. Ms. Music Jackson coming your way. But I'm coming to you today as author Paulette C. Jackson um, to talk about my journey as becoming a published author and talk about my newest book that was just released this January 2021 called My Testimony. Now, a lot of you follow me on social media. You know that I am a radio personality, that I own two internet radio stations, that I'm a writer, that I, when I say writer, I mean songwriter, that I do a lot of other different things, right? But as I'm coming to you as readers, you know, a lot of people don't know who I am. I'm not famous and, you know, that kind of thing. But I want to talk about my book my testimony and why I wrote it. Now, mind you, I have two other books that I wrote. The Music in Me, which was released in 2016, and The Music Through the Storm, which was released in 2018. But then I re-released my first book, <clears throat> The Music in Me, as a second edition to my new publisher in 2019. So I have four published books, the three that I actually wrote. However, I am proud to say that books four and five are complete and they were completed during the pandemic last year in 2020 and they are due to be released. I hope they are going to be released. My plan is for them to be released in 2022. So look out for that. But let's get back to my testimony, my third book. Again, I'm not a famous author or anything like that, but I... My journey began uh, back in 2015. A friend of mine wrote a book, and I was a song lyricist. Wrote poems. That was my thing. Never had them published, um, but I, that's what I did. That's what I, I liked to do. I loved to do. Never ever anticipated writing a book until I talked to a friend of mine who had wrote, written his book. And I said, you know what? <clears throat> I, I think I have stories to tell that other people can relate to whether they're in the same field of interest or whatever, but I think the general consensus will appeal to people, most people. My testimony, my test testimony, is based off life experiences in life that I think that we are all thrown test in life, you know, whether we believe it or not, we are. And I've come to really, really understand what that means. Uh, in my adult life, being thrown tests at you, you know, how you deal with it, how you deal with situations and people and life in general, right? I've had a lot of tests in my life and still being tested. So I chose to write my personal test of my journey up to this point at 52 years old. Marriage, children, divorce, building a brand, working a nine to five, not really happy with that. Childhood, all of it is in my testimony uh, for the most part. Um, was there some things I left out? Yeah, you know, but for the most part, it is my journey. It is my journey. <clears throat> and I wrote it for me. And I also wrote it, more importantly, to touch someone that would read it and that they saw that you all see bits and pieces or parts of yourself in my story. My journey won't be your journey. My interests and my loves and passions won't be yours necessarily, but maybe they are. But the story I feel will be similar. We all go through tests in life. We are all thrown curves. Some we're prepared for, some we are not. And it affects each and every one of, of, of us in different ways. Definitely affected me. I learned a lot about people, life, and how, it's go, and how it goes and not how I want it to go. And what I do want and what I don't want. My testimony is my journal, really, about my life. And 
how I have dealt with things, what I've learned about God in believing and even accepting the fact that I didn't believe for a very, very long time in any higher power and how I came to that. You know, people can tell you, they can guide you, they can suggest, but until you grow through life cycles and experience some things for yourself, you won't get it until you have that personal experience for yourself. It's up to you, it's up to all of us where we choose to go on that path. For me, I went to church, not every Sunday, you know, but I did listen. I started to listen on my own to the word. That, and that's just as me. I'm not saying that for anybody else. It's for me, my journey. That's part of it, part of the journey for me. Always had a love and passion for music since I could talk. And that's no lie. It's in my blood, it's instilled in me, and that's what the music in me, the first book, was all about. Kind of introducing everybody to me and my love and passion for the arts and music as a whole and how that got started. But this one, this, this book, my testimony, the one we're talking about today, is a little bit more personal. Uh, of course, it talks about my love and passion for music because it's who I am. It's not what I do, it's who I am. And, but it just talks about, you know, childhood and going through that whole thing, that phase, teenage years, getting married, high school, kids, that whole thing, finding myself, career path, what I really, really, really want to do, but I was kind of nervous and scared and not confident enough in myself to jump out and take that leap of faith until just a few years ago, I took a leap of faith, much prayer, much conversation, many tears. But when you get tired of a certain situation and thing, it kind of shifts you to move, to take that leap of faith, to believe in yourself and whatever higher power you believe in, to talk to some really good people that are going to tell you the truth, not just what you want to hear. So all of that is a part of my testimony. Again, this is my newest book that was just released January of 2021. And Halo Publishing is my, are my publishers for all um, three books. My Testimony, The Music Through the Storm, and The Music in Me, the second edition. They publish all three of those books. Very, very pleased with them, and I'm, I'm very grateful. So my journey hasn't been an easy one. I didn't always believe in myself or my gifts and my talents. I had other people believe in, in me more than I did at the time. But until you go through those steps yourself and learn and go through some things, bad and good, you have to come to your own conclusions. And I had learned that it's not too late to pursue a dream, to pursue a goal. Only the limitations that we put on ourselves so I'm telling my story as a new author, fairly new author now, but I've been doing this, I've been a published author again since 2016. First book was released, the first edition of The Music in Me. <clears throat> and here I am getting ready to release books four and five in 2022. So I'm saying all of this and I'm explaining all of this to you because I hope that you hear, really listen, that you hear some similarities in my journey, my story, and you can relate as well. And know that you're not alone. Know that you're not alone. Know that it's not too late to pursue whatever it is you want to pursue. And I am guilty of listening to other people and what they feel my life journey should be, what they think I should be doing, what they think is quote unquote safe or whatever the case may be. That means they don't understand your journey. They don't understand who really who you are and what makes you tick, what makes you happy, what makes you get up out of bed in the morning. Has the road been easy? I'll say it again. Absolutely not. But I'm grateful to be here telling you, sharing my story in book form and speaking these words to you today. And I'm coming to you as an unknown author. Again, a lot of you follow me my show, my stations, my other books, my other endeavors. And I thank each and every one of you for that. 
but I'm speaking more to those of you who are readers of books or you use Kindle or whatever the case may be because the book is available on that too. And coming to you as just a person, nobody famous, just a regular person, a woman at the age of 52, telling my story, sharing my story and hoping the goal is that you see yourselves <clears throat> in my story and that you have the courage, that you have the knowledge, that you gain the knowledge and the confidence and belief in yourselves to take the leap of faith, to step out on faith, to step out of your comfort zone because I had to do that. I had to stop saying no to a lot of opportunities because I wasn't confident enough or I didn't think I could. I was talking my own self out of doing things and, and, and taking advantage of opportunities. Maybe it wasn't the right time. Maybe it wasn't the right opportunity. But if we keep talking ourselves out of stuff, situations or opportunities or love or whatever it is, you'll never know. So I'm telling you, all, man, woman, child, doesn't matter. I don't care what background you're from. If I can go through some of the things that I've gone through and still be here at 52 years old, getting ready to publish, get books four and five published, have two internet radio stations, be a songwriter, and now it's published, and work on some other major projects that I have over the past few years, because I started to believe in myself. I started to push myself and then surround myself with people who I can talk to, who I can mentor from. And I, and I mentored them. Didn't know that through this whole process, I became a mentor to some other people, which is a blessing. And that is all a part of why I chose to become a published author. To tell my story, yes, as a way to me to release as a journal for me, but also to help inspire, motivate each and every one of you. Man and woman, child, it doesn't matter. My testimony, my newest book, tells my story, my test. And the book is my testimony. I hope each and every one of you read it. You soak it in. You reread it and read it over again. Share your experience, share what you take away with your family and friends. And I will say this, I, in all my books, including my testimony, after each chapter, I give you, the reader, the opportunity to jot down your own thoughts. I ask questions after each chapter. You jot down your own thoughts, your own feelings. And you keep it as your own personal journal. And if you are interested in the purchase of the book, go to www.authorpaulettcjackson.com. You will find the uh, tabs and the links to purchase the book. You can purchase directly from me and you will have it signed and I will include a special gift. Or you can go to my Amazon page and purchase all of my books there as well. But the direct link is my website, my main website where all my books are housed www.authorpaulettcjackson.com and you will find all the information there. And please feel free to reach out to me via email to let me know how you enjoyed the book, please. I would love to hear from you guys. And also, if you have any questions about that book or any other of my other books, my testimony is my story. But again, my, my goal and for sharing that is that you'll find yourself in it too. I'm not famous. I'm not on TV all the time. I'm on radio, yes, and I'm proud of that. But just you wait, you might see me on TV. You will see me on TV very soon. I'm claiming it. And I'm claiming your dreams and your goals and your aspirations for all of you too. Remember, it's not too late. Read my testimony. And you'll see what I'm talking about. If I can do it, you can too. Thank you so much for listening, everyone. Again, go to my website, 
paulettecjackson.com. Purchase the book, purchase the, all the other books. If you have any questions, feel free. There is a form there that you can reach out to me via email and I will get to each and every one of your questions, I promise. Thank you very much for listening to me today about my newest book, my third book, My Testimony. And look out for books number four and five coming next year. Thank you so much, everyone. Good night.